In Nashville in 2002, Bruce Etherington challenged us to take our top 20 clients for breakfast and ask them to introduce us to three new people. For me, this idea hit a chord. I love nice breakfast in a nice restaurant. And what better way to develop a relationship with the client than over a meal? And frankly, a comfortable relationship's key when you're asking for introductions. But it's also really important that you be open and honest with your request. Hello, John. We've been working together for a while now, and I really enjoy my time with you, and I hope you've found it valuable. I'm calling today to invite you to breakfast. I'd like to talk with you about people you enjoy being with and how they might find value in the work that I do. You see, in my experience, I find good people attract good people, and I'd love to be more people just like you. How would next Thursday morning at 7.30 work for you? Now, fast forward. We've ordered breakfast, we've had our first sips of tea and coffee, and I'll follow it. Thank you for meeting with me this morning. As mentioned, I'd really like to meet more people just like you. And the way I'd like to go about this is to ensure that everyone is comfortable. To do this, I'd like to make a list of the people that you enjoy being with, and then I'd ask for you to let them know that their name came up in conversation and about my desire to meet with them, to introduce them to who I am and what I do. But now, if they have an objection that brings you concern, let me know and I'll take them off the list. But here's the fun part. John, you and I met through Dave in the same way. So you already know how well this goes. To all of you, this process has been my most enjoyable and successful business building activity since. Core to the table followed for me two years later and now TOT is part of my world. My second idea for you came in 2008 in Toronto. Dr. James Moss spoke to us about the importance of sleep on our day-to-day -day performance. He told us about a study that they did with a number of people in their 20s where they were only allowed to sleep for six hours a day for six days in a row. At the end of those six days, they had the metabolic and mental level of a 72-year-old. This was my world. Poor sleep, too many nights in a row. No wonder things seem hard. Like many of you, my initial response is, I don't have time to get a full night's sleep. But I figured, hey, he's the expert. And if professional athletes are spending an amount of time investing in their sleep, why shouldn't I? So over the coming weeks, I made some adjustments. I came into the office a little bit later. I went to bed a little bit earlier, all in an effort to make sure I got my eight hours of sleep. And you know what? I got more done in less time at the office. My work was that much better. I was that much sharper in my meetings. And rejections and life's curveballs seemed a whole lot easier to deal with. And hey, I felt great. Now, I'm not always successful at getting my eight hours of sleep, but I know when I do, I'm at my best. And I know you can all relate. It's really so simple, but why do we put ourselves through this? I'm telling you, make the effort, and I promise it will pay dividends. So with all that said, get a good night's sleep, and in the morning, take a great client for breakfast. Thank you.